What are some simple things that people can do to improve their newsletter experience? In general, wayfinding is really important. This is also good advice for any design on the internet. But with newsletters, especially like longer editorial style ones, it's all one column. And when someone scrolls, there isn't like a sticky banner that reminds them you know, where they are and gives them a framework for what they're reading and what's happening. Being really aware, I guess, of how someone can start to feel lost in a newsletter is really important. So you want to make sure that your sections are really clear and structured. But like, let's say you, you want to do like huge wall of text and then cool links I found online this week and then like cool tweets I found this week and then a call to action about my course. You want to make sure that all of that is structured in a very clear and easy to understand way. If you want to have different sections, like make sure the sections are carved out in a consistent way so that people kind of know, okay, it's going to be a chunk of text and then like the H2 is formatted in the same way as the next H2, you know, and so on and so forth. I'm a big fan of labels as well. So if you're going to do like chunk of text, H2 with a um, funny headline, then on top of the headline, you want to have a label that says uh, weekly link sharing or something like that. So and like, since we're actually talking to people who can't necessarily see and don't know what an H2 is, an H2 is what you tell your editor to make the formatting of the paragraph heading. So... H2 is kind of in the middle size. H1 is really big and H3 is small. So when you see large titles in a blog post or an email newsletter, the largest font is probably an H1. So it's header one. Since we're talking about wayfinding and since we're talking about being uber descriptive, 